Wire Lock Pins Wire lock pins are perfect for quick release applications on cases where the pin needs to be added and removed easily. The pin and cotter are combined into a single dependable assembly. Wire lock pins are equipped with either round or square bales, which should match up with the shape of the tubing they are used on. Think of a trailer hitch on a car or truck being mated to the hitch of a boat trailer. Both are perforated with holes so that when the two pieces meet up and the holes align, they can be secured with a pin. Insert the pin and clasp the bale over for a secure fit. Standard stock shank diameters range from 3 16 to 3 8 Custom sizes are available by request. For loss prevention, add a wire rope lanyard and affix to the piece of equipment or machinery. Moving on to the part code guide. Wire lock pins are composed of 15 digit smart part codes. All important attributes of the pin are broken up into categories and listed out on the part code guide. Follow the color-coded guide to translate the description into an Innovative Components part number. Located at the bottom of each guide is the layout of the smart part code. Use this to guide you when creating a part number. To start, take notice that the product listed in red is a wire lock pin. All wire lock pin part numbers will be a two-digit designator taking up the very first two spaces. All wire lock pins will start with WL. Next we move on to the orange section labeled pin diameter. All diameters will be listed within two digits in spaces number three and four of the part code. Each fractional diameter translates to a two digit designator. Example, 3 16 diameters equals 3x in a part code format, whereas a quarter inch diameter becomes a 4x within the part code format. Next we move on to the green section called effective usable or grip length. There are four places allocated to this attribute located in spaces number 5, 6, 7, and 8 of the part code. The first digit is a whole number in space number 5. Imagine as if there is a period after the first whole number. Spaces number 6, 7, and 8 are saved for any decimal places. If a pin is 4 inches in grip length, you would see 4, 0, 0, 0 here, or imagine 4, period, 0, 0, 0. If a pin is 2 and a half inches in grip length, you would see 2, 5, 0, 0 here, or imagine 2, period, 5, 0, 0. Next, we move on to the bale shape. Bale shape is listed in spaces number 9, 10, and 11 of the part code. If the bale or clasp is round, we enter RND here. If the bale or clasp is square, we enter an SQ dash here, taking up all three spaces. Next, in purple, or placeholder number 12, is tab. A tab is an added feature that assists with quick and easy removal. In cases where there is a tab, we add a T in this section. Tabs typically run the customer a little bit more money because it is an added feature. Next, we have a placeholder for specials. In cases where there is nothing special to note, we enter a dash here. If there is something special or custom to note, typically we would enter an X here. The X articulates that there is something special or custom about the part. When we see an X here, the team knows to go to the part's description or the blueprint to identify what is particularly custom about the part. Next we move on to the fuchsia attribute called pin material. This section is in regards to what type or grade of material the pin is made out of. We allocate one space in space holder number 14 for the material of the pin. Common materials are listed out, but the stock standard or most popular materials are highlighted in bold font. The standard steel or grade 2 steel becomes a 2 in a part code, whereas the grade 8 steel becomes an 8 within the part code. Lastly, we move on to the gray attribute called plating. Plating is a coating of metal used to serve as a rust inhibitor. We reserve one space in space holder number 15 for the plating of the pin. Common platings are listed out. Zinc and yellow, which is a yellow or gold plating, is the most popular plating of these pins, so you will often see a two in this space holder. Now that we know how to use the part code guide, let's move on to the practice quiz and put it to use. Wire lock pin quiz. Number one. 5 8 by 2.38 inches wire lock pin, square, steel, zinc, and yellow. Let's take a look at the part code guide. Notice that the part code is going to start with a WL in the red section. Then we move on to pin diameter. The pin diameter is 5 8 5 8 translates to a 1X in the part code. Then we have to identify the effective length. Effective length in the green section is going to be 2, 3, 8, 0, or imagine 2, period, 3, 8, 0. 
Then we move on to the bail shape. Bail shape is in regards to what shape the tube is or what shape the clasp has to be able to go over. In this case, we have a square bail. So we would enter in an S, Q, dash. After bail shape, we have tab. Number one does not state that there's a tab on this wire lock pin, so we would enter a dash here. Then we move on to the pin material. The pin material is steel. Our standard steel, or grade two steel, would come out as a number two in the part code. Then we move on to plating. Zinc and yellow is the popular plating for these pins, and zinc and yellow is the standard. We would use a two in placeholder number 15 for plating. Number one would be WL1X2380 SQ dash 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 two two. Number two, 3 16 by two wire lock pin round grade eight black zinc. The part code is going to start out with a WL. After WL, we have to identify the pin diameter. Number two states 3 16 3 16 translates to a 3x. Then we move on to the green section, or effective length. We have 2 inch effective length, which would translate to a 2, 0, 0, 0, or pretend there's a 2 decimal, 0, 0, 0. Next we move on to bail shape. This bail is round, so we would enter an RND in the blue section. Then we move on to tab. Number 2 does not state that there's a tab, so we would put a dash in the tab section. Then we have specials. There's nothing special to note here, so we would add another dash. Moving on, we have grade eight steel for pin material. So in the fuchsia section, we locate grade eight steel and see that it translates to a number eight. Then we move on to plating. The plating is a black zinc. Black zinc translates to a number three. So you would enter a three here. Number two would be WL3X. 2000 RND-8 3 number 3 quarter by 1 and 3 quarter wire lock pin round steel zinc and yellow the part code will start out with a WL for wire lock then we move on to pin diameter this pin is a quarter inch a quarter translates to a 4x then we move on to the effective length in green this effective length is 1 and 3 quarters one and three quarters is gonna to translate to one, seven, five, zero. Next, we move on to bail shape. The bail shape here is going to be round. So we would enter an RND in the blue section. Next, we have tab in purple. This particular pin does not state that there's a tab, so we would enter a dash here. Then we move on to specials. There's nothing special to note. So again, another dash here. Then in fuchsia, we have pin material. This particular pin is regular standard steel. That's going to translate to grade two or a number two in the fuchsia section. Lastly, we have the plating. Zinc and yellow is the plating. Zinc and yellow is our standard and that translates to a two in the part code. Number three would read WL4X1750 RND dash dash two two. Please complete the rest of the quiz using the part code guide.